and there's a reason why I close my realm. What's up guys? As you guys know, I am True Tris. Today, we're doing a little bit of a cut com, if you would say, a little different from my normal videos because I really want to talk to you guys about a very big topic that's been happening in my channel as well as the community over the last couple of days. And of course, if you guys don't know by now, if you guys don't follow my Twitter, you guys probably don't get the, like, the notifications like right away. But I actually closed my realm. My Minecraft Pocket Edition realm is actually shut down. So if you actually were a member of my realm and you guys tried logging in and playing on my realm, you guys can see when you actually try pressing it to play, nothing happens. It's shut down. It's blank. And there's a reason why I closed my realm and I'm going to be talking about it in this video. So it's super, super important you guys understand why I shut down my realm and why I believe this is going to be super impactful to the rest of the community. First things first, I know a lot of you guys are going, I shut down my realm because my realm got griefed. That's true. That was true. However, that is a small fraction of the reasoning why I actually shut down my realm. So anyways, what actually happened was when my realms first got created, if you guys are, I don't know, new to my channel, a little backstory, of who I am as a content creator and who I am as like a realm owner. Um, I, I got my realm the first, I believe the first day it was available, um, which was I think back in June. And being a realm owner back when it first came out was awesome. It was super, super cool. And obviously like realms was so new and no one's ever like had a realm before, at least unless you had a like PC version of Minecraft. I've never owned a realm in PC, so it was super, super exciting for me to go ahead and make a realm in Minecraft Pocket Edition because it was like my first time owning like a server or like a realm where people could come and play whenever they wanted to play. It was such an awesome, awesome, awesome feeling. However, though, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys have been following my social media. You guys know my history about my realm. So, my realm got griefed. Um, my, the first time I got griefed, I was super, super upset, honestly. Um, it, it really just sucked when you own, like, a realm or even just something, and you find other people destroy it. Uh, not even my own work. Like, I don't think anyone's actually, like, griefed my own house and my own realm. But the fact that people grief and they destroy other people's creations when I know they spend hours and hours and hours and hours on... It, it, it saddens me, dude. Like, it, it seriously gets me so upset when I log on and I see people uh, blow up other people's houses, which I know for a fact they spend more than, like, five hours on. And the thing is, like, I understand, like, people are immature, especially Minecraft, uh, like, the Minecraft community can get very immature at some times. But, like, if you guys are invited to a realm, especially, like, I don't know, like a YouTuber's realm in particular, like, you would think that you would show much, much, much respect to everyone else in the realm. Because they know how hard it is to get invited to a realm. And the fact that people come in and join realms and they get jealous of other people. And they decide to, like, blow up or, like, destroy someone else's house. Like, that's just so, so, like, sad. You know, it's just so sad as a realm owner to see that happen. And the thing is, I, I guess what really upset me, because we had our first griefing. And uh, when someone griefed someone's house, and then we obviously kicked them out, ha uh, made a completely brand new realm because we were pretty much forced to. This is, like, I believe, before they could like download the realm world, if, if I'm correct. Um, so we had to make a brand new realm. Then uh, that realm got griefed, of course. And it, it was just so, so frustrating to see my realms just keep constantly, constantly get griefed. And the thing is, like, I can't personally stop anyone from griefing. Like, there's no possible way for me to stop people griefing. And this is one of the biggest, biggest reasons why I actually closed and shut down my realm. is because there's no developer support for these realms when it comes to griefing. None. Absolutely none. The thing is, we've had this problem ever since we started having realms, which is like day one. And the developers knew that we had these griefing issues. And of course they made it so we were able to download our realm and then we could put add-ons on our realm. But the thing is, the developers didn't even supply us with an add-on 
to be like the, the anti-griefing realm um, add-on. One of uh, the members of the community actually made it. So that just shows you guys like the community cares more honestly than the developers nowadays about griefing, which is so, so, so upsetting, honestly. Like when when I first saw the anti-griefing add-on, it, it seriously it made me even more upset knowing that the community had to make it and not the developers like there's no support when it comes to these realms and griefing at all like i know people i think that the excuse for the developers is saying you better like know who griefs and like you should trust um or know who you should trust in your realm like i understand that but like it, it's uh, it, it just frustrates me when when there's no options to turn on like different types of like protection like giving certain permissions to certain people having like a log where we can see who was on the realm last or who did what or who who blew up something like there's no logs there's none of that on these realms and the thing is which really gets me more upset is i've constantly and not, not even i'm not even speaking for my own realm i'm speaking for like everyone else's realm we're constantly paying like the seven ninety nine or the eight bucks to to purchase these realms, and the fact that we've been paying all this money for these realms with no support from the developers from like actually improving the realms when it comes to this griefing and like the major major issues like the, there is, uh, it, it kills me. It absolutely kills me inside. So what I actually did was I ended up um, pulling the plug on the realm. I said no more. I'm, I'm closing it. I'm closing it. The, the, it was like the last griefing, just got me so upset, so so upset that I just decided to completely just take off the realm off the server. So until there's like actual real support when it comes to the development of the Minecraft Pocket Edition realms, knowing that we can actually have certain security um, measures when it comes to the realms, I just honestly refuse to pay the eight dollars for something that I know is going to get blown up. You know, like. The, th the thing is, like, the guys that were in my realm, um, I, I really trusted them. You know, like, we've been around, we've had a, had a realm community for the longest time, and we all knew each other. And the fact that someone still blew something up, someone destroyed someone else's property in the realm, it made me believe that you cannot trust anyone in this community. And that's that's the biggest, biggest issue I have uh, when it comes to realms. So, I'm honestly, I'm done paying $8 until the Minecraft developers actually do something to the realms um and it's not even my own realm like i'm honestly talking on behalf of like probably 90 percent of the community that has experienced griefers in their realm and i know for a fact people have stopped uh being active in their own realm just because they're just sick and tired of the support of the realm like we're honestly better off making our own world making an xbox live online game and and only being able to play it when like we're actually online like it, it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous so anyways though until there's actually support from the developers for the minecraft pocket edition for realms i just refuse to pay the eight bucks and honestly i advise you guys too to kind of almost boycott the realms unless we get like actual support for minecraft pocket edition realms but uh it is what it is and uh, i'm done paying that eight bucks and it's not even the money, it, it's just knowing that people are just getting robbed uh, from griefers out there. So, I don't know, I want to make this little commentary, hopefully to fire things up, question the community a little bit of some of the priorities in the Minecraft Pocket Edition world. Um, but anyways, that's just my two cents. Let me know guys in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree with my statements. Also too, let me know um, if I should bring back the realm sometimes, because... Uh, I don't know, I think it'd be kind of cool. I think it'd be kind of cool to bring it back um, sometime soon. But anyways, my name is Chuchu. Have an awesome day. And uh, catch you later. Stay true. Peace. Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already. And hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace.